If you watched my video yesterday, you know that I believe the biggest crash that is going to happen in my lifetime, and I'm 78 years old, is about to happen. And all the elements are coming together to make this bigger than the dot-com bubble and bigger than the subprime crisis. And I believe then on the other side of it that my big six are going to take me to uh, new fortunes. But I need to know where to buy them. I'm at 60% cash right now. The only thing that I'm really holding of any consequence is biotech because I believe in genome sequencing and genome editing. But what I'm doing right now is trying to figure out where I'm going to buy my Apple, my Google, my Microsoft, my Meta, NVIDIA, the big six. And I think I can figure out where they're going to bottom out. And I want to share that with you. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Between now and October the 31st, I'll be giving away $1,000 for you to buy stock. Moomoo is adding to my contribution with 15 stocks worth up to $2,000 each. Find the links in the description. Let's first of all review how we got to where we are. We were tooling along and the stock market was being fed about a trillion dollars a year by the federal government. And then a coronavirus showed up and drove, drove our markets down in, as a result of fear. And that fear took us to a substantial low. And as that fear subsided and was set offset by the government pumping $9 trillion in nine months into an economy with people sitting at home had just playing the stock market and jumping into any and every EV vehicle that was offered to them and every SPAC that was offered to them, we went into a, a, a frenzy of over-exuberance. And then when the markets uh, got to a new high and everybody knew they were uh, artificially high, we stepped in and, and the government started to cool down an overabundant economy and raising interest rates. And inflation then occurred because there was so much money going after so few goods because of a uh, broken supply chain. And once again, fear stepped in. Uh, we flushed out all the retail traders who were no longer sitting at home playing with their, their government money. And the market started to crash because of fear again. Now we are down where we're probably at some realistic values on some of our stocks, but we have a new element of fear, and that is uh, the Russian war and the Chinese collapse. And so fear has taken over again. What I then decided I needed to do was go uh, visit my Fibonacci uh, replacement uh, tool. And what that is, and I'll show you here on my uh, computer, you draw a line from the low point in the uh, coronavirus to the high point, which occurred roughly on November of 2021. And you then say it is going to retrace itself, and this is based on history, anywhere from 50 to 75 percent. So with, why would it do that? Well, history repeats itself because in, in all circumstances, we're dealing with human beings, and human beings are very predictable in their reactions. So I look at this and I say, okay, uh, if it's going to retrace, then I can probably figure out where exactly these stocks are going to bottom out and where my buy-in point is. But again, I don't want to just deal with one stock and one price. I want to put together a basket of individual stocks and indices and then say to myself, okay, when they as a majority, because each stock has its own particulars, but when they at a majority reach that 75, because most of them have already surpassed the 50% retracement. When they hit the 75, that's when I'm going to get very serious about, is this the price? And evaluate the circumstances. Has the fear level subsided a bit? Has, has Russia uh, played their cards and we know what they're doing? Has Xi Jinping either been replaced or uh, given another five years? And what is his attitudes now in Taiwan? And at that point, I will assess and determine, is now the time 
that this wind is going to blow past, that this tornado, that this hurricane is going to pass over and we're going to see blue skies again. That's how I'm approaching this. So here is the chart that I then put together. Uh, on my Excel spreadsheet to show you exactly where my basket of stocks are right now relative to the Fibonacci retracement uh, formula that I'm putting together. If this seems to make some sense to you, I'd suggest at this point you stop the video on the screen where it shows the, the picture of my, my spreadsheet and then go to the top row on your desktop on your keyboard and it's the third key over it, it says print screen. I think it's P-R-T-S-C-R. Uh, and hit that button, then open up a uh, Word document and, uh, and right click and say print, and it will print out the, um, the spreadsheet that I've created. And that way you can have it and you can study it more and then put your own tracking into it. What I'm going to do is build it out further and every month I'm going to come back and say, what are these stocks at now? Am I where I need to be? Is this where I want to buy? Now, I will continue to keep you up to date on my YouTube channel on what I'm doing, but I, I really suspect for your peace of mind and so that you can do your own due diligence, you print this out and make it a tool that you use as you move forward. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is what I always do. Every day, I open up my uh, Seeking Alpha, and I look to see, is, is there any new information that I need to know? I, I read my Wall Street Journal. I just read an article uh, over the weekend that basically goes into how the shipping industry is, is collapsing kind of out of China, how FedEx is uh, not buying any goods or not shipping goods, uh, canceling flights, how Nike has, has collapsed, and uh, now they're going to, they've openly said they're going to discount their shoes and to clear that inventory. You know, everybody is saying, particularly Jim Cramer, that, that Target had the wrong in inventory. Walmart had the wrong inventory. Um, Nike had the wrong inventory. No, they had inventory. And we stopped buying. Mothers stopped buying new shoes for their children because price of gas was up, because price of food is up. The, we are going to go into a, t a period where layoffs are going to become more and more common. Amazon laid off 100,000 people. Uh, a banker I know, so, got, a bank got rid of 80% of their mortgage brokers. Uh, the real estate industry is, is, is folding in. We are going to go into a period, an unprecedented period of layoffs, of uh, they've overdone the the interest rate thing. Uh, it's 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 w the way the world works. It's always overkill, whether it's on the upside or the downside. It's overkill. You need to only stay attuned to what's going on, and and the 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 real variable that we we can't really anticipate is Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping. Uh, but if you'll watch the, this basket of stocks and add your stocks to it that you want to add to the basket, I think you can see when the time is going to be right to buy into the next big change in our world, and that is your phone is going to become your operating system. And I mean that to the nth degree. It's not only going to run your car, it's going to run your house, it's going to run your medical world, it's going to run your entertainment, it's going to run your education. Everything is going to wrap around that phone and the people who have the data. And we know who the people have the data are, and we know who the chip makers that are going to make it possible are. We just got to figure out when to buy them. And stay with me. Uh, come back uh, on a daily basis. Subscribe, and we'll grow this channel, and we'll make money together. Music